Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed, and today I'm going to take a look in on my formerly cocoon only bins and currently trying to get them to migrate. They are not going very quickly, are they? So let's, let's move the bubble wrap and see what we've got here. It looks like I've still got some corn plastic from the paper bedding. Looking at them. Castings of course look really good but they are not exactly moving out, are they? Not exactly. I have a lot more luck with uh, doing light migration uh, than t doing this kind of migration. I think maybe I'm too impatient. It's been a couple of months. I'm ready for them to get into a new bin and they are not participating. So let's, let's take a look at the end where the, the migration is happening. So I, let's see, more corn. I did give them some baby oranges. No, why do I keep seeing baby oranges? Baby carrots. And they are coming over here for sure. They are. Um, just not all of them. But I think it is time. It's time to stop messing around and start pulling them out so that they can get in their new home. So I'm going to grab a handful over here in the feeding zone and see if I can get a large amount of worms to go with. And then I can maybe, maybe start another bin while this migration is occurring. But I am getting quite a few worms, so although not everybody is migrating, certainly a fair few. So if we come over here and look, I did get quite a bit. So let me see if I can dig around a little bit more. and see how far the concentration goes. This will also give me an opportunity to flip the bin and maybe help dry it out a little bit. It's supposed to get a hard frost here in the next couple of days, so the heat will undoubtedly start turning on. All right, well, Still got corn. Yeah, I think I'm going to flip the whole thing and put some more bedding at that end, put the food back, and see where we can get going with this migration business. All right, I will bring you back in a minute. Okay, so I've taken some of my moist bedding here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out some of the food. I know I'm taking some of the worms back, but I think there's enough food to share. And then kind of mix that in with the bedding a little bit. And then put the castings right up to it in hopes that they will start moving over into this new fresh bedding and start getting out of the uh, old stuff. Uh, I imagine things will start going a lot faster once the heat turns on. All right, let me get this cleaned up and we'll take a look at the European Nightcrawlers. All right, so now we're going to look in on the European Nightcrawlers and see what they're doing. It's hard to believe with no moisture inputs and nothing covering them 
but these castings are still so wet. It's crazy. Okay, let me see how my corn still. See how my baiting has been going over here. I think there's a piece of banana. So it looks like we are getting some takers in the feeding zone. Maybe I can launch the new bin with these guys. And then set this back up again. I don't know if it's just because they're bigger worms or if it if they really are migrating better. I'm not sure. I'm going to do a little light migration on these to get these out of the bedding. I'm just going to fluff this up like I did the other one and I'll bring it back when I've reset with the bedding. All right, so I've put some new moist bedding in here. I will put a link at the top of how I make that. They do tend to go through it pretty quick. I did have to supplement with some more food because it seems as though the European night crawlers have gone through it more than the red wigglers. So I'm just going to kind of match that up so they have a conduit to move to the feeding zone. And then hopefully next time we will see some progress in reducing the numbers of worms in this bin. All right, I'm going to put you down again and I'm going to set up the light migration. Okay, so begins the light migration. You can tell that it is working already. I'm going to give them a little paper bedding to hide under when I pick them out so they don't want to travel back into the old. But I'm just going to let the camera run and start pulling things off as they retreat. These are the red wigglers so they usually are pretty light sensitive so I don't usually have to wait too long for them. Alright guys, this is 45 minutes later and what we have here is a whole, I don't know, I'm going to say it's about a pound of the red wigglers and so now I'm going to bring in their new home. Okay, so the new home is exactly the same gallons as the old home only it's going to be a horizontal space. So this is my current experiment to see if 
if it makes a difference. Will these wormies get bigger? Will they get bigger living in their new home? So I've got my wet paper bedding, my pre-made bedding that I put in there that has been aged for probably almost a month. And now we're going to see if they go to town being in a horizontal situation rather than a vertical situation with their previous home. And I'm going to do the same thing with the European night crawlers. So I will just let this play out until they all settle in. And this will be the new Red Wiggler only bin. All right, I'll speed it up and you guys can watch them go to sleep. All right, that's enough of that. I'm trying to not stress them out a lot, so I'm going to cover them up. They've already done a, a light migration, which is probably pretty stressful for them. So I'm going to cover them up, and then we will start on the European night crawlers. Okay, here we go on the light migration of the European night crawlers. These guys have been sitting in the the wings while I was doing the red wigglers, so they've had quite a bit more time to move down out of the the bedding and castings. So hopefully this will go a little bit faster. All right, there we go. I think I'm done. And there's quite a bit more worms in here than there was in the the red wiggler, so I was wrong. Um, there's a lot more of these than there was the red wigglers. So let me swap this out, and we'll get them in their new home. All right, here we go. And we are going to put this, which I imagine is pretty close to a pound of European night crawlers in their new horizontal bin. Now as I've been doing this light migration I actually am wondering if there's blue worms in here. Even though these particular worms have not even been on the same floor with any blues, some of these are moving a little too fast for me to believe they're Europeans. Alrighty, well, I won't want to sp stress them out too much again, uh, so I'm going to cover them back up. They've got their food in there, they've got their new bedding, and we're going to see if they do better in a horizontal bin rather than a vertical bin. Alright guys, if you like this video, give me a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.